just takes a little bit of that. What's kind of the end goal tomorrow? What are you looking for tomorrow in, in an exhibition? I think, first of all, I'm really happy for these guys that they finally get to get out here and play. Um, it, it seems like it's been forever. Uh, maybe that's the increased hours in the summer. Uh, it seems like we've had more practice time than we usually do. I don't know if that's good or bad. I, you know, but, but I'm really happy for these guys. They're giddy. They're excited. They're, uh, that's why they came here. They to play in this building and, and play in front of our fans. And, and so I'm excited about that. I think that uh, uh, I look for everything. I'm looking, I'm curious to, to see how they play under the lights and in front of fans. And, and I'm excited to see how, uh, you know, it's the first time that um, we put a scouting report together, but it's the first time we've talked about, uh, you know, an opponent and what they do and how guys pick up on things. So there, there's, there's a plethora of information out there uh, to gather from something like this. And yet, I get it. They're going to be nervous. There's going to be jitters. It'll probably be some for the, the, the veterans as well. So um, it's good to get that out of the way. And, and I think that'll be the, uh, maybe the most important thing that happens tomorrow is we kind of get some of that stuff uh, out of the way. Because what were you able to take away from your close room in Vanderbilt? Uh, our guards are really good. Um, you know, I think that there's, uh, there's a tremendous amount of uh, things that we can do lineup wise. Uh, I was really pleased with the different lineups that we were able to play. Uh, they're a bigger team than, than they have been. Um, and yet uh, we handled that quite nicely. Um, but uh, again, I think it was, you know, it's one of those where you play a lot of people and, and you look at a lot of different lineups and you get, uh, uh, get them exposed to a different uniform and, and uh, we stayed very, very basic and very generic, but it's uh, it was something that we were uh, we were pleased with the outcome and pleased with all we saw. How has your freshman grown from the start of practice to two ahead of where you guys are? Can I answer that tomorrow? <laughs> um, you know, I think it's, I think it's pretty good when you're out here from um, the first day, and there's that. that excitement level for the first practice, the first college practice, and then I think you, know, you kind of hit a little bit of a wall, and you have to fight through that and, and grow and, and push them through that, and now there's a certain level of excitement for the first time in front of fans, and uh, I'm curious for that. I'm excited for them. I'm curious for that. Everybody reacts different. You know, there's the term gamers and so on and so forth, and you see how guys play in, in, in front of them. Uh, you know, a passionate fan base that we have in front of our home crowd, so uh, it'll, be, it'll be exciting. From this point last year to now, just what's different about this team? Well, I think we're, you know, I think we're a team that's um, more perimeter oriented. Um, I think our perimeter guys have, uh, uh, we've got the ability to drive the ball, we've got the ability to play, uh, to push it ahead. We, we, we've shot the ball. Pretty well. Um, so we'll see how that handles with the little jitters uh, that we'll have early tomorrow. But uh, you know, I, I think we've got to continue to uh, grow defensively. I think we've got to continue to grow in terms of uh, we know we're thin up front. Uh, Georgie was Georgie did some really really good things in the scrimmage, and uh, and he's got to continue to grow. You know, I look at him sometimes you know, as an old man and realize he's a freshman. So. But our, um, uh, we're a lot better team now than we were when we started. I think we continue to see that growth as, as we move forward. Some of you guys mentioned the mindset's also different with this team from the last series. Just what, what would you kind of attribute to that? Leadership. It's amazing when you get it. Uh, I think it's an influx. I think we've got a, 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 a swagger about us. I think these guys um, ha have, a, have a confidence and inner confidence that. Uh, is exciting. They work. Um, so I think there's a lot of things that, uh, uh, that these guys believe, and uh, you know now we've got to go out and, and, and earn the right and earn the respect and, and do all those things that, that, that come with feeling like that.
Do you have a starting lineup for tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, for one half. I mean, I mean, I, I mixed it all up the other day, and um, you know, well, I think we'll see how it goes. I, you know, I'll probably start you know, Trent and, and uh, you know, Iowa. Because of veterans, AJ and Kipper, a, a good look, and then and then Georgie at the five, and then we'll we'll see a plethora of different lineups throughout. Um, but uh, you know, we'll see how those veterans do, and kind of let you know, some of the younger guys. I say that we'll start two freshmen, but you know, let some of these guys kind of soak it in a little bit and, and uh, see if they can get, uh, get some comfort. One of the guys really excited to face some live competition after all the the head to head practice. No doubt. How excited are you to kind of get to see see the guys in, you know, in, in a game atmosphere? Yeah, and kind of I'm not as excited as they are. I think it's it's there's always a curi uh, you're curious to to see how guys react, and I think that's very much the case. Um, and I'm equally excited for them because I know um, how, why these guys are here. I know why they want to compete. Uh, they want to play for the name on the front of the jersey. So I'm excited to see them uh, respond. There'll be mistakes. And there'll be a slow. Level. Uh, and I expect that, but uh, uh, you got to play through those, and you got to get some of those things out of the way. And and uh, tomorrow night's a good starting point for that. It sounds as a guy that was maybe playing catch up when he got here. Where's his development been just in the last month? Still catching up. Still catching up. I think that you know it's um, uh, he's made a lot of progress. There's no doubt. Um, he was a guy that was that was. Uh, a big surprise uh, over the weekend. Um, you know, I think he's a guy that we're, we're continually getting to challenge on the glass and understand what we're doing. Uh, but defensively, he was a factor. He was a presence, and, and uh, uh, very pleased to see his uh, his progress. Some of what you say there reminds me of Greg Eagle last year. Is it similar cases or very different? In terms uh, of the basketball development. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. There, there's, there's, they're different games. They have a different game, uh, but I think everybody, you know, kind of runs their race at a different pace sometimes. And obviously, uh, some of not being here, uh, the, the fundamental things that he missed out on, he's still catching up to. Uh, and you get a lot of things thrown at you. Uh, we don't have a lot in yet. They're still pretty, pretty basic. Uh, and uh, the more we put in. Uh, the more challenging some things can become, but uh, uh, he can impact us defensively and, and on the glass, and, and he's gaining confidence offensively, so that's uh, that's important. Trent struggled in this game last year. How different is this Frazier going into this year versus how good he was? Well, God, I hope he's a lot different. Uh, you know, I think the one thing that uh, he's the guy that I don't worry about too much. You know, Trent's, Trent's been. Uh, Trent's been really good. Um, I think his, his efforts become uh, extremely consistent. I think he's grown into that. Um, I think he's got a swagger, a confidence that he knows uh, that he's a good player. And last year, there was so much doubt and, and question marks. And uh, to his credit, he, he fought through that. And, and I think we'll see that guy that has uh, got that swagger about him that he's, he's very confident. What do you know about Ryan's Illinois Wesleyan program? They're good. I, I've known Ron since he was an assistant at Wichita State, and and you look back at the history of that program, and and uh, you know he's got got a bunch of bunch of guys back. They're an older team. His son's a terrific player. Uh, you know their, their guards are heady. They're smart. They can, they can really shoot it. Uh, it would be a great challenge for us. And it's like I tell our team: there's an advantage to being old. Uh, they're a great example of that. You know, they're a veteran team. But they know each other. And they've got great chemistry. They've been together for a while. Uh, they've got decent size, and um, you know, so it'll be, a, it'll be a great opportunity for our guys to to to, to go against a team that executes and runs good motion and and they run some things and then they play extremely hard defensively. So it, it's exactly what you want in this game. <clears throat> Adonis is out before getting shots up. How is he progressing at this point? That's a great sign. Uh, yeah, he's been, he's hes just, you know, the natural maturation of, and natural healing process of the knee. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're out there getting shots. He does uh, he does a lot of our dry stuff with us. He's becoming more active in some of our defensive things. Um, and, uh, you know, 
know, that's a that's a process that he's got to have to uh, uh, you know to get that comfortable and helped. And I mean, comfortable mentally as much as, as the physical part. So yeah, he's, he's making he's made a lot of progress here in the last 14 days. You didn't talk about Andres Feliz for your first five guys, but he's got to be right up there. Yeah, Andres was incredible in our in our, in our scrimmage. I mean, he was our arguably our best player uh, in terms of the numbers that he had. Uh, nobody kept him out of the paint. I think he drew. We had a correct. I think he drew 11 fouls uh, in the scrimmage. Um, he plays plays with great tempo, great pace, and uh, you know he's he's uh, uh, he's getting much much better on the defensive end, and he's a very good defender. He's just getting tuned into what we're doing and how we do things. He's played it at a little different uh, uh, style, maybe than, than, uh, than he has in the past. But uh, yeah, he's been terrific. So I working with the bigs just now. How much? How many different positions is he going to learn, even though you don't have positions? All five, whatever that is. I think that's one thing that we're continuing to grow with, with this group. Is you're going to see uh, it's all about mismatches and, and putting guys into situations in the floor where we feel like we've got an advantage. We've been playing Trent there a bunch. Uh, we've been playing Andres there a bunch. Uh, we've popped Georgie out on the perimeter because he can shoot threes. Um, so, you know, our diversity on the offensive end is, uh, is still a work in progress, but it's something that we're, that we're way ahead of where we were last year being able to do some of those things. I mean, that potential lineup that has Io, Trent, and Andres in it, if one of them can do that well, is that just, you know, we're not giving more options you know, just to use that group? It was a pretty good one for us last weekend. So that's three guys that, that are really, really fast and play downhill and, and uh, they can all play in ball screens. Uh, the one thing that I was very pleased with, they don't even, you know, most of those guys don't, all three of those guys don't need a ball screen to get open. Uh, they have the ability to go create and break a defender down, um, you know, without, without help. So 